Okay, so here's the start of my video blog. I'm gonna take a road trip with a couple of buddies and I decided uh, why not do it on something cool, at least something that I think is cool, on an old vintage bike. So I'm gonna take my 1971 Honda CB500. It's not 100% original, but it's pretty close and I like it. So I'm looking forward to riding it. Um, right now we're gonna trailer them down to Louisville We've got some stuff we got to do down there and then we're going to take off from Louisville and head towards Deals Gap, North Carolina, right up the tail of the dragon. And then from there, we'll just pick our destinations as we go. So we got about a week to kill and a lot of miles to cover. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on the bike. Like I said, it's a 71 uh, CB500, still got the uh, stock exhaust on it. Uh, I had a local bike shop in Huntington, Indiana help out with the mechanicals. They went through it. Uh, rebuilt the carbs, replaced seals and gaskets. Uh, we did not rebuild the engine. It was in pretty good shape. It was a runner when I got it, and they just made it run better. So uh, if you're in northeast Indiana, got an old Japanese bike, you need to check out Emily's Restoration and Repair. They're pretty knowledgeable, and uh, they took my bike that was a runner and just made it run even better. So, like I said, still got the stock exhaust. Still got the original paint on the tank and side covers. Uh, of course, new tires, stuff like that. Polished up the cases on the engine. Just kind of went through the bike. I started adding little things here that I'm going to need. A USB charging port for the phones and our uh, headsets and our helmets if we need to charge them. We can plug it in on the go. I also got a little wind fairing thing that just goes around the headlight bezel um, it's being painted right now so when I slap that on there I'll take a video of that bike seems to run really good since we've got it out of the shop I haven't had any trouble with it knock on wood so it's typical typical uh, Honda 4 Runs like a sewing machine going down the road. So I'm gonna try and take pictures and video along the way and kind of record the adventure. Like they say, it's not a cross country adventure by any stretch of the mind, but I think it's pretty cool that I'm gonna do it on an old bike. So. If any of you guys uh, riding Hondas out there, the old Hondas, have any suggestions for, uh, you know, any like tools or roadside repair stuff I should take with me, uh, please uh, share that stuff. I got about a week before we're heading out, so I'm going to add a few things to the bike before we go. And uh, like I said, I'm going to record the adventure along the way and try to share it with everyone. So here we go.